welcome to Mira's tiny garden. Subscribers, I am little bit dumb as you have not liked or shared my videos. Please give thumbs up and share me up. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for another update. These are sprouts of Tamarindus indica, generally called tamarind. The tamarind tree produces pod like fruit that contains an edible pulp and seed. For the germination, I took some tamarind seed in a bowl and used organic seed starter. Take that much of organic starter liquid so that seeds emerge in it. Keep it for 10 days in a dark place. After that, you will get this sprout. After 10 days, a tiny root has come up. As you can see, this is a tap root. Tap roots are the thick primary root that normally grows straight down under the soil. This is the first root that forms from the seed and provides the most nutrients to the plant. If you can see, these are secondary roots arise from the tap root and may turn produce even smaller lateral roots. Very carefully remove the outer skin, all of the seeds one by one. It will take some time, but it doesn't matter. I am taking some cocoa peat. It is best medium for germination process because cocoa peat holds the moisture. Now make some hole with the help of soft stick and put the sprout in the soil. Make sure the taproot will go down. It's all done. Now it's time to give water. Excess water has come out, there is no water logging, it is very important. 
here is the result after 5 days as you can see they are doing well and growing nice after 7 days tamarind tree is one of the most popular trees for bonsai it is a evergreen tree of pea family Train a bonsai growing from seed it takes long time but here is a positive side also that we can give it shape as we desire Tamarind loves full sun and heat for growing tamarind you do not need to care about soil pH level it grows in pH level around 4.5 to 9 Here I took three plants and braided them. Here I took seven plants then I tied the stems together with grafting ribbon. This tamarind plant is affected by mildew disease. The leaves are showing the effects of mildew disease as you can see. So I am going to spray affected plants with fungicides. If you don't have fungicides then you can use mouthwash. Mouthwash can also be effective at killing powdery mildew spores. That's all for today. Catch you soon. Thanks for watching.